The facts don't matter in any of these cases. It did not matter what, what you said in the if. The then was always going to be the same. Because the idea is if the system is bad, then anything that justifies the system may not be that great. In other words, justice is the tearing down of all of the systems. The idea is that Democrats are going to push forward, and this is the next move, right, is that it was never about this particular case. It's about the broader system. You'll notice the language that is being used by, by the left today, by members of the media, by members of the Democratic Party, is not the system worked. Usually, in the aftermath of a criminal conviction, the line that you hear very often from politicians in the media is, yes, the system worked. You're not hearing that today. You're really not hearing that today. Instead, what you're hearing is justice was done. There's a major philosophical difference between justice was done and the system worked. If you say the system worked, you're providing legitimacy to the system. The left doesn't want to provide legitimacy to the system. Remember, remember, the system is racist. Remember, the system is bigoted. Remember, the system is the bad guy. Derek Chauvin isn't even the bad guy. Derek Chauvin is just the outgrowth of the system. In a certain way, a lot of folks on the left don't even believe that Derek Chauvin is responsible for his own actions because they didn't prove that he was a racist. He's just the outgrowth of a systemically racist system. He's just a widget in the system. The system is bad. So they're not saying the system worked because that would be lending gravitas and legitimacy to a system they hate. Instead, it's justice was done. When they say justice was done, what they mean is we got what we wanted. The only thing that changed yesterday because Chauvin was convicted as opposed to acquitted is that there weren't riots. Because for the left, the outcome really didn't change. Right? For the left, it doesn't matter what the, what the antecedent was. The consequent was always going to be the same. In the if-then statement, it did not matter what, what you said in the if. The then was always going to be the same. If Chauvin had been acquitted, then, the, then they would have said this. Because Derek Chauvin was acquitted, this just shows that the American, racial, the American justice system is racially malevolent, that America is a deeply systemically racist place, and this requires, therefore, this requires that you give us inordinate power to reshape all the systems of American life so as to achieve racial equity. Okay, that was version number one, where Chauvin was acquitted. When Chauvin was convicted, here's the argument today. Derek Chauvin was convicted. And this is just the first step to realizing that you have to give us more power so we can reshape the systems of American power in line with providing greater racial equity. It does not matter whether Chauvin was convicted or not for purposes of the agenda. In fact, it seems that there are at least a few in the media who are kind of unhappy that Chauvin was convicted because it seems to grant a certain legitimacy to a justice system they really, really dislike. I mean, to, to take one example, MSNBC's Jason Johnson seemed pretty pissed at the verdict yesterday. He was Instead of, he said, I'm not going to celebrate this verdict because it gives, it gives legitimacy to a system that's bad. I actually always thought that he would be found guilty because it's sort of a cultural makeup call. But I'm not happy. I'm not pleased. I don't have any sense of satisfaction. I don't think this is a system working. I don't think this is a good thing. What this says to me is that in order to get a nominal degree of justice in this country, that a black man has to be murdered on air, viewed by the entire world, there have to be a year's worth of protests and a phalanx of other white police officers to tell one white officer that he was wrong in order to get one scintilla of justice. OK, that last point there is him admitting that the jury was pressured by the by the millions of people in the streets, which, of course, is true and perfectly obvious to anyone with a shred of common sense. He says in order to get this conviction, you needed millions of people in the streets. OK, there's a word for that and it's mob justice. And there's a term for that. And this is not a fringe viewpoint. Jason Johnson's viewpoint. In fact, you get the viewpoint, right? Because the idea is if the system is bad, then anything that justifies the system may not be that great. AOC, the ir irrepressible, brilliant, so fresh, so face, face of, of justice in America, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, who spent tens of thousands of dollars on private security over the course of the last few months, but you should definitely defund the police. AOC said that this verdict should not be a ray of hope. It should just be a reminder that we need to completely change the systems of American life. It's not justice. And I'll explain to you why it's not justice. It's not justice because justice is George Floyd going home tonight to be with his family. Justice is Adam Toledo getting tucked in by his mom tonight. Justice is when you're pulled over there not being a gun that's part of that interaction because you have a headlight out. Right. All of, justice is tearing down all the systems. And you'll notice the facts don't matter in any of these cases. The Adam Toledo shoot was a justifiable shooting by a police officer. Adam Toledo was missing for two days in Chicago. His mom didn't even call the cops. He was a member of a gang. Where were his parents? His mom tucking him in 
She did not call the cops when he went missing for two nights. He was shooting a gun at moving vehicles. When the police were called to the scene, he ran from the cops. He had a gun behind him. And as he dropped the gun, he was shot. Okay, the, and, and for her, justice is that he goes home. Justice is that George Floyd is... So, in other words, justice is the tearing down of all of the systems. Because any bad thing that happens can be attributed to the system. So this wasn't justice, right? Justice is bad things don't happen anymore. And bad things won't happen anymore. Justified or unjustified, bad things will never happen anymore if you just tear down the systems. How's this for a title? Ben Shapiro Show subscriber destroys like button with clicks and logic. I'd watch that. Make it happen, gang.